free man movers. We are now even looking at beyond training, what do we do with the SMEs to make sure that they attract invest investors into their businesses, that they are able to attract lending you know, into their businesses as well. How do we support them in terms of governance, making sure that they've got the right governance structures in place to ensure that when banks and investors look at them, they can see very well governed business that they can, they can invest in, that they can lend. And I talked at a, a macro level about our flawed education system and the way the system is designed to keep the rich richer and the poor poorer. Unless you want to cross that bridge, you must learn the language of how to cross that bridge, the language of money. If you learn that and you have the discipline and the right habits, you will do it. It won't happen overnight. You're not born rich and just because you are, you are, you are born from a poor family, you must die poor. You must learn what is it that will help me to succeed and do it step by step. You will come out of it. Many different things like bid management because one of the things we deal with, the way of getting business in the industries we deal with is through bidding. So the incubator project has given us the knowledge, the insights of the bidding. We know where to go, how to organize ourselves. To the Kampala program, it's a different story. Here we look out for businesses that have been in operation for at least one year. They have um, uh, at least 10,000 US dollars or equivalent of about 30 million shillings uh, in terms of operational money over the course of the year. But also, um, we also look at the number of people who, or the number of people they employ. So, five or more people. So, really focusing on your definition of the beginning definition of a small enterprise. Uh,